This is Lynn Mortis, but don't overlook Tom's Detente. Seems like a lot of people's overlooking Tom Detente. I don't know if you say Tom's Detente or Deta. I don't know. I'm gonna say Detente. Anyway, um, multiple grade one winner, multiple grade two winner, one at Keeneland, one at grade two at Keeneland, the Fayette pulling away back in October night of uh, 2019. If you throw out the the Whitney, if you throw that race out where you stumbled out of the gate and, and he had a, got a real slow start. I have seen horses come back and win on after stumbling like that, but it, it really takes a lot out of them. But if you throw that race out, Tom Diatonne has won four races in a row before that coming in. I think all, if, if not all, most on a mile to eighth. On that Whitney, uh, he came back hard and I don't know what it was like two, two and a half lengths running third against Improbable. Uh, so he was right there with him. About two and a half lengths behind Improbable after almost falling down. He beat Improbable back in the uh, Oakland Mile. And on that Oakland Mile, that could have been a great at race. There were some tough horses that was back there during when the horses weren't running. They just started coming back and and uh, I think it was like a hundred fifty thousand dollar race, but it could have easily been a. I really think it should have been a great race. And I'm telling you, Tom Detant, his speed ratings, his fractions, there ain't nothing that would show this horse ain't one of the top horses in the country. It might not be Big Maximum Security. It might not be Tizalaw, but they better be on the, their game because he's coming after them. But I'm not taking nothing away from Improbable. Improbable is the super horse who's improving every race. I think the crowd's going to mess up Improbable a little bit, but again, Improbable might run off this race and win. I ain't taking nothing away from that horse. He beat Improbable in that Oakland Mile pulling away. Comes off the pace. He's won a couple of the, I think they were grade twos, leading on the front end. Very talented horse. He can, uh, come off the pace or like I just said he won a couple great great races on the front end and he's versatile he, he's got the speed he can come off the pace um he's you know he's been considered a top horse one of the top horses in the country yeah he's out a smart strike um Albert Stahl Jr. top-notch trainer Tom's D. Yatant He's never won, uh, ran, he's never ran the uh, mile and a quarter, classic distance, but he's ran a mile and eighth almost all the time. And he's pulling away at every one of the races. I mean, he was out at the top of the stretch. I mean, could have been up a mile, I don't remember which one, but he was he was two lengths behind Improbable at the top of the stretch, and, and he beat Improbable, pulling away. You know, um, that's just a furlong... A mile and a quarter is just a furlong longer than a mile and eighth. You know, 660 feet. And if you can pull away to a mile and eighth on races, you can surely run another 660 feet. I think Tom's Diatonic can do you know, do pretty much what he wants out here. He may not beat some of the other horses, but I think he'll, he'll, he'll sure have a good showing. He's going to be up against Big Max. He's going to be up against, well, you know, Maximum Security's Super Horse and Authentic. A lot of people not get him much of a chance. Authentic still a super horse, and man, it's almost like a four-year-old just late in the season. Tis now, there's just a bunch of good horses in there, but don't overlook Tom's Detente. Tom Detente may not win, but he's gonna. They'll know he's been there. He'll be there fighting at the end. Well, good luck, everybody.